It's a lot of our dreams to own a Lamborghini at some point in our lives, right? But looking at the price of them, it never really seems financially right. But that's unless you were Grant, who won one for less than one pound, one euro, one dollar. Oh my God, it was just... But his Lamborghini dream was only short-lived because only three weeks after winning the car, disaster struck. But all is not so bad because we all know where cars end up after they've been crashed, which means we could fetch ourselves a bargain. Copart, the auction place where salvage cars go in hope to get a new life. Grant's old Lamborghini is now listed there for sale, so we're heading up to have a look. But there is a reason that this could still sell for strong money. Wow. Oh dear. We have arrived at Copart Peter Lee, right up north in the UK. Let's go check out this hurricane. Now usually with Copart, you can't go and view the car before you buy it online. But today, we've got special access. Here we go. It's Lamborghini time. But what you can do is arrange for a FaceTime call with one of the Copart staff, and they can walk you around the car and hopefully answer any questions that you have about it. But for now, let's go check out this Lamborghini. Oh, it's mint. It looks brand new from this angle. <laughs> But it's the front with, yeah, there's a mark. There's a mark on the rear quarter, but I think That's easily repaired. we'll get to that. It's a rear quarter damage. But it's the front that we're worried about. Let's go over to it. Now, later in the video, we are actually going to be FaceTiming Grant to find out how exactly this accident happened. But now, me and Hannah want to check over the car to make sure this thing is actually repairable. Oh my god, it has oh actually, god. it's a bit worse, it's a bit worse than that, but I actually thought this was going to be like, not too bad, but Matt, can you see underneath? Oh, is that an, is that an oil cooler or a radiator? Maybe a radiator. And then, potentially, the front tub is taken out. If we can open, no. that's not going to open, is it? Right, so you reckon the badge is, you reckon he took the badge? <laughs> I would. I think that's, I think the badge is gone, but it's definitely crash bar, but there is some damage under here that you're not going to find out until you get that bonnet open. The wing is, or fender if you're American, that's definitely gone. Bonnet and the hinge has gone back into this apron, which is around the windscreen here. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually broken the inside of that. To replace all of this, I feel like, well, it's windscreen out, dashboard out, which is a shame because in this one, it doesn't look like you're gonna have to take the dashboard out, but I think it has damaged this apron. I think it's all been shoved back into there. Oh. Now, if that apron is damaged to the point where it's not repairable, it could be pretty expensive. And I'm not even sure Lamborghini would sell that separately. But I did find a shell on eBay for just under £6,000. But it definitely doesn't look like an easy repair to replace that apron. Oh, it's just got a scuff. Oh, it's just gone. No, that is gone. Look, so two front wings. And this apron. And the apron is gone as well. This is definitely going to be a little bit trickier than we first saw. So the A pillar's got a huge dent in it. And again, it's all aluminium as well. If you look at the A pillar here, there is no join between the A pillar and the roof. So but replacing that. Oh, the roof. So you just have to do the roof and the A pillar. What, the full thing? Yeah. Yeah, easy. Guess is now on headlight cost for a Lamborghini Huracan because it has a small crack in it. 650 pound, I think it's gonna be cheap. A thousand. A thousand. Hannah's correct. Is it a thousand? Second hand at left side headlight, 1,700. Oh my, that's made me feel sick. So, that's a lot. Just one headlight. Well, okay, but now we, we learn something every day. And then the rear quarter has a dent in it here, which could have been the cause of the accident, which we will find out. Okay, so apparently we're gonna be allowed to fire it up. Again, it looks like there's a cooler missing on the front, so we can't run it for long, but 
it is down as a starter, isn't it? It's down as a. Yeah. I guess a running driver, really. Yeah, really Look at all these buttons. It's like a fighter jet. Let me. That's wicked. Where's he do that? Audi key. Oh no, it's not an Audi key, sorry. It's a Lamborghini key. <laughs> and it's done 29,000 miles. Oh, first time. It's absolutely mint. It's a Mac. It sounds good. I bet it's There's like no warning lights on the dash, no airbags have gone, which is which is strange because there's nothing, there's a lot of damage to the front and also it makes this sound. I think this could potentially be a good buy, but there is a reason why I think this is gonna fetch a lot more money than people would necessarily think. Let me show you why. This Hurricane is a 2015 one, and it's done 29,000 miles. There's still nearly two days left on the auction, and it's already at 75,000 pounds at the minute. Now, for a Lamborghini with a similar spec and year, you're looking at around 139,000 pounds. So why is the damaged Lamborghini still gonna sell for strong money? Well, that is because it doesn't have a category. It never went through the insurance. So even if you repaired this car, it would never be registered as ever being in a crash. And no one would ever know that it has been in a crash. Unless, of course, maybe anyone has watched this video. <laughs> you can't see anything out the back. Look out the back. They might as well not have a back window. <laughs> Look at the wing. But there is a way of finding out whether your car has some dodgy history. And that's by checking it out using Car Vertical. See you later, Copart. <laughs> <laughs> now check out the report on my GT3. Even though this is a clean title car, it still comes up at the top of the report that it's been involved in an accident. On the report, I can see all the history of the car and make sure the mileage all lines up. But here I can see when the crash happened and where it happened. Oh, oh we're a bit no. rubbing. Oh. oh. And not only that, on some reports, like this one on a BMW, it will even show you photos of when the car was auctioned off at the Car Crash Auction website. So to check your car out, a friend's car, or a car that you're potentially about to buy, click the link in the description box below, use code MATT as well for discount, and let me know what kind of hidden histories it brings up about your car. Right, let's find out what actually happened to this. Ah, oh, it does go. Well, there, here's the answer, Matt. Okay, there is a front door. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how a bonnet opens. But <laughs> oh my God. There is a dent, but it, I don't think it's that bad. Okay, so this part is missing, but it's definitely supposed to go up that way. Uh, so this frame, that's the frame. That is supposed to run down to the front and then it just disappears into nowhere. Like it's supposed to go up there somewhere. This is a banana. There is your dent. Da, 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 da. And the washer bottle, there's a hole in it. Hello. Interesting, at least we've got the bonnet open though. I won't call that open. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the accident because I feel like a lot of people might jump to the conclusion that Grant being young, only just won the car, he might have been driving at a million miles an hour and crashed it. But I personally think if he was going really fast, it would have been a lot worse. Airbags would have gone and the damage isn't actually too bad. And from what the article says, he's saying that it wasn't his fault. It says he's hit a barrier. It says in the thing, it's hit a, he's hit a barrier, which or maybe he's gone under the barrier or something, maybe. The only way of us finding exactly what happened was to speak to the man himself. Yo, we just went to see the Hurricane. Um, nice car. It was a proper nice car. How long did you own it for then until it was crashed? Well, I, I had owned it for three weeks. 
No way. Yeah, but yeah, it's actual gutting. It's absolutely gutting. Oh my god. And we like, what car did you we did we drive in before, or was that like that weren't your yeah, first I've, car, was it? I've, I've still got a Mercedes C class. Oh okay. So I make it. I make jump up. I can imagine. Eh? Everyone is automatically going to assume, oh, he was going to be driving at a million miles an hour. But we've seen yeah. the car, and um, we've seen the car. No airbags have gone. It doesn't yeah. actually look that bad. Uh, what did it actually hit? Ah, uh, the, the car actually went underneath. Like, see how you get the barriers on the side of the motorway? Yeah, the car went underneath that and hit the grass at a grass hill. So it's bounced me back out onto the motorway. Now, there was part of the article which I read, which actually says it wasn't his fault because some cow hit the back of the car, making him spin out. It says in the news article, a cow, <laughs> a cow is it? <laughs> was it a dairy cow? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 it was just, I was, I was angry and like, all the comments that people were leaving on my Facebook and oh. all that, so I was just, I kind of was angry, but it was uh, some girl driving a Toyota Igo. I was passing in the right hand lane because just before this, a BMW, we had lost control and that girl was too busy looking at the BMW going into the field. Yeah. And then obviously, her, when I was passing the right hand lane, her car had came over into the right hand lane, clipped the back end of me and all I just felt was just spinning round. Was, oh my oh, God. Yeah. So this explains the scratch and the dent on the rear quarter. But again, something that could be easily fixed. So. It, in the end, really, you've not ended up too bad because you've got to drive the Hurricane for three weeks and then you've also, and you've sold it as well. So you've not ended up losing money, have you? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a profit. <laughs> <laughs> you got any plans to buy any other cars since or you could keep in the money? Any other? Yeah, well, I'm actually in the middle of going for a house and then I'm going to use some of the money towards to start my own business. So. Oh, wicked. And then hopefully I'll end up in our Lamborghini. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you've got to go back. Now you've, now you've felt what it's like. Yeah, now it's uh, it's the road back up to it again. So, no. It was unreal. Wicked. What a nice guy Grant was. And now it seems he's going to be making a positive situation out of one which ended, well, really, in a negative way. But where does that leave us with the hurricane? Seeing this has now made me really want a hurricane whether we go for this whether another one comes up i don't know but i do really want to rebuild one this has got me so interested in it thanks so much for watching this video if you've enjoyed it hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you in the next video peace out what's left of the ceramic break <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is so bad even that's got a crack in it like a drug there, I just can't deny giving me the best time